Hello, this is Oatman, and welcome to the first ever episode of Attack of the B Team, baby. And I've been wanting to do this ever since Red started playing Attack of the B Team on his single player world. Um, I was like, dude, I've got to play that. And I've played it um, a lot. Like, a ton of. Whoa, lag, hello. I've played Attack of the B Team a ton before. Um, before or off camera and I was like dude I really feel like I'm robbing you guys of footage for this and I could be doing an amazing series on this and you guys have never seen me do some intense mod pack um crazy modded stuff so um this is going to be coming out every other other day so it's going to replace not really replace but it's going to go in the place of oak and stone every other other day but oak and stone will come out the other other day so um things would be like oak and stone oatman solo survival attack of the b team skyrim uh, Oak and Stone, etc., etc. Follow that pattern, kind of, depending on what series I want to do. I also just started a new series called Evil Land, which um, you guys probably haven't heard of, but you've probably seen it on my channel by now. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to get into Attack of the B Team. You guys have never seen me do any modded stuff, and I really think it's going to be amazing. Man, this tree's taller than I thought. But we're going to get lots of saplings, so we're going to be able to... I'm going to move into that ice tundra over there. I just started this world. The map is just the chunks all about around me. Of course, it's not the last log. Gosh! So we need to get some morphs going. We need to get a, a bat. And we need to get um, some other stiffs. So I want to move into this ice plains, because that's it's, I'm Alaskan and all that. It would make sense. Oh my gosh, this tree. So, yeah, this is going to be really fun. I've already, I'm really good at, um, the mods that we're going to be mainly focusing on are going to be Advanced Genetics, Tinker's Construct, Archimedes Ships, and, um, potentially some other stuff. Uh, or actually, I'm going to get into a bunch of other mods as well, but those are going to be my primary focus. Um, my favorite mod in this whole pack is Advanced Genetics. Um, Advanced Genetics is... Whoa, lag. Hello. Hello. It is generating new chunks, and I did just start this world like just before I started recording. It's going to get really tricky. Uh, whoa. It's going to get really tricky. Um, getting used to not sprinting with... Jeez, the lag is nasty. Okay. World gen lag. So this is a great spot right here. I want to build an actual above ground here. So we need to get some some trees associated here. We do live next to a forest and we'll check the map for any surrounding things. Let's check the map here. What is I thought I seen something that looked somewhat like a a thing. No, oh, that's just a purple tree. Okay. Well that's not a thing yet. So what's this? Ooh, mount met oh what what difficulty am I on? Let's go normal because I wanna I really wanna just play with the pack here. I don't want to make a big fuss out of it. Um, as far as like trying to hardcore survival and stuff, because that's kind of what this pack is about. It's about enjoying the cool mods that the B team put together for you, basically. <laughs> Let's, let me just get some of these bushes here. Here, there we go. This is great. Look at all of the bush or the mal mal mallow berries. Yeah. So, um, we're gonna get started. Gonna get a bunch of food off of this bush, apparently. That's amazing. Okay. Now these can have really high saturation if you eat enough of them, because you can eat them without um, being hungry, which makes a big difference as far as um, saturation. Man, they just keep growing. Jeez. Okay, so 37 is probably pretty good. So let's let's make our basic workbench and stuff, um, and then we'll we'll start. Oh, I like the spruce workbench. It looks very cool. Okay, so let's we should build a little starter base probably. Now, I wish I had my micro blocks by now, but <laughs> I like my micro blocks. My micro blocks are amazing. So this is a great place. This is a good spawn in the icy area. It's perfect, right? Wrong. No. Um, I think this is going to be a great place because it's mountainous. It's Alaskan. It fits me. Let's morph into a sheep here real quick. He's got a hat. Let's put our first hat on. What is it? Whoa, I'm lagging. Sorry about this lag. And I want his meat too. What what is it? I'm not entirely sure what it is. So I'm a sheep now. Oh, a squid. That guy's gonna be valuable. Hello. 
get killed with a woodpeck. So this series isn't going to be this laggy. It'll just, because the world is just loading. I literally just started the world just before I started recording. So I'm going to do these in 30 minute in increments like I would do my most of my other Minecraft things. So let's, let's morph back into oat here. Enter. I got to put these guys in my favorites list. Or at least the squid anyway, because he's going to be valuable. So, let's eat some, some of this, upgrade my saturation a bit, let's just fill them all up. There we go. And, keep eating. Jeez, how big is your saturation bar? Jeez, guy. Not going to be getting hungry anytime soon. Okay, jeez. Okay, so, let's go get some stone over here. So it looks like we got some marble and stuff over there, too. Um, so far, wait, is my, there we go, any eye, that's kind of nice, so what do we need, we need to find a cave right now, that's just what our goal should be, let's get some stone first, um, now my, I want to make it a goal here on this world, and I'm doing it single player because, um, I feel like it, and I wanted to do another, a single player modded, uh, so I, what is this, is that tin, can I make a tin sword, whoops, wrong button, Let's see. Tin sword. Okay. Nope. I guess not. Okay. So yeah, I would don't. I want to use. I'm gonna make a goal here. And it should be reasonably easy, of this uh, series, to only use armor that's in the mod pack. I don't want to use vanilla armor like diamond, iron, copper, or no, not copper. But I can use copper. Can I mine copper? But I want to use only modded armor. I don't want to use vanilla armor. Now, that could be tricky here. Um, it could be tricky doing that because um, it'd be uh, really different. Ooh, that guy's got a pig hat. I need that pig hat. That's an amazing hat. Give me your amazing hat. Oh, my gosh, leg. Those blazers. Okay. Come here, stupid cow. He's got a health bar. Oh my gosh, lag, he did. There we go. I'm a cattle now. So let's get the flying pig hat on. Yeah. Done. So cool. Okay, so let's get back into oat mode. Whoops. Now, I really, really, really want to find an origin forest. An origin forest is the coolest thing ever. Or valley, origin valley, rather. Um, because it would bring back a lot of nostalgia for me. Because I've started playing Minecraft in, like, alpha. Um, oh, creepers, hello. <laughs> Let me get a sword. We'll get some more, another pick and stuff, yeah. So, yeah, this series is going to be amazing and fun and wonderful, and I'm going to like it a lot. So, the reason I'm doing an Attack of the B-Team series is because um, the Oak and Stone mod pack is going to be a long time before it's done, basically. Whoa, free, freezy house. Okay. It's going to be a long time before the um, before the Oak and Stone mod pack is done. So, because Oak and Stone is getting a mod pack made for them by... Ooh, a spawner. Don't blow up my spawner, please. Hopefully I can get a dragon egg. That'd be cool. Uh-oh. Spaghetti, please don't explode. It's a skelly spawner. How's that? How, that's, like, perfect. Let's get this iron here. Iron's nice to me sometimes. So, yeah, I want to get mainly into Tinker's Construct. That's what my main tools are going to be. Um, I want to eventually get rid of... Completely get rid of the vanilla uh, tools as well. Tools and weapons. But I'm a little, I'm going to be a little more reasonable with that. Um, because it makes more sense to have vanilla tools if I don't have any other stuff. So the nice thing about this mod pack is there's not a lot of resource gathering. Like, ores and stuff spawn in, like, huge amount, plentiful, and it's wonderful. So, yeah. The, uh, the drawback to that is it's a lot easier. Um, and I'm, I'm a hardcore, more hardcore game, gamer like that. So, that could be a drawback to this situation. Jeez, the lag. Crap. Oh, my skeleton. Hello. And then the skellies, when you're a skelly, you will burn up in the nighttime. So you gotta be careful. Skellies and zombies, for that matter. Let me break in here. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do they just kill each other? Oh my gosh. Get out of my house. We should build like right above this place and this should be our base because mob essence and experience is very nice. Ooh, shiny ingot from the thermal expansion. Fancy. Ooh, lots of dragon eggs too. We could do dragons. Let's do dragons. Ooh, safari nets. That's kind of nice. So your inventory also fills up very, very fast in this game. Um, ooh, look at these. These are going to be a good source of food. So let's become old oatman again. Whoops. There we go. So let me eat some berries. Yeah, this could be valuable as far as... Ooh, diamonds. Hello. That's, this place could be very valuable as far as getting uh, a uh, base set up. So now we need to... Let's just, let's just base up right here. Let's M and then we'll right click. Home slash spawn. -er. There we go. Alrighty. So let's go up top, top side again. And let's, uh-oh, we may have to camp out down here for the first night. That's okay. Um, ooh, diamonds, hello. So diamonds right off the bat are pretty sweet, but I need some armor. Can I make copper armor? Copper? Chest? Nope. Okay, um... Armor. Um. Um. Hmm. Invar armor. Let's see. Chest plate. This is literally only the chest plates that are here. I have a hard time believing that. So what's muddy? Mud ball. How do I get mud ball? Wood. Oh, I can make it out of logs. That's kind of nice. Uh, heavy duty chest plate. That's compressed steel. Let's see. Cardboard. How do I get cardboard? Okay, I don't have slimes. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna. The best thing I can make right. How do I make a fire chest plate? All right, can I not? The best thing I can make right now is wood armor. By the looks of things, I have some bones. Let's get some bones going, and then we'll go get some more wood here. Let's make a, let's make a, uh, axe. So yeah, this is, this is going to be a fun series. I'm very excited about this series. Um, it's going to be awesome. Um, now it's going to be hard to go back and forth with, uh, content as far as with Oakenstone because it's going to be very, uh, different because this is very different than your vanilla Minecraft, basically. There we go get some wood, get a little bit of wooden armor, because that's the best we can get, and since wooden armor isn't in vanilla Minecraft, we have a little leeway there. And there we go. Hello. We need to get, we need to be gathering sand, gravel, and clay as well, so we can make our tinker house, our tinker forge, smeltery thing. Oh my gosh, lag. Crap. Okay, I got a muscle. That's cool. I may get into necromancy as well. Let's go back down here because I have some stuff now. And we'll block off. Okay, so we have materials in you. We have some books here that we can take a look at. Ooh, um, <laughs> green fist. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so let's take this time to smelt up this iron. And, yeah, let's... Okay, we're going to have to get more coal, apparently. So let's make some armor because this is not okay. Let's make some pantaloons, too. There we go. So, this will be... There we go. Look how cool I look. So cool. I'm a zombie right now. Let's get into oat mode. Just just change my fist. There we go. I'm slightly taller as oat, apparently. Okay. Let's see. We need some more coal. Do we have any of that? We need to get coal to get iron to get the tools to smelt this. To... Yeah. <laughs> or to smelt the iron so we can get the diamonds so we can progress through this video game a bit more I thought I seen some coal about how oh there is some right there let's get some hey stupid zombie oh my gosh I'm gonna morph into him because he's a different variety yep. and spider house uh oh 
There we go. You get a spider job. Now I can climb walls. That's going to be kind of cool. So yeah, I think this is where we'll build our base here in the uh, tundra here. Pretty cool. Oh man, I got to go back to oat mode. <laughs> My sword's almost dead too. I'm going to have to make a new sword soonly. Hopefully we'll get a diamond sword before too long. Um, let's get some coal so we can smelt the iron and the foods that we have. It's going to be amazing. There's some. There we go. Uh-oh, I hear zombie footsteps. So yeah, this is so amazing. I am excited to be doing Attack of the Beat Team. So yeah, I'm only using armor that is given to me by the mods. Um, so that makes things pretty interesting, I'd say. I mean, because you've all seen the vanilla... Uh, You've all seen the vanilla uh, armor and all that. It's nothing new. I want fresh and new. And I feel like it'd be an interesting challenge to be able to do this with just mod armor. Which I think is going to be awesome. I'm not sure what other kinds of armor there is. I know there's a lot more. Um, maybe there's some with Tinker's Construct. Um, maybe. I don't know. So, I'm going to be... I gotta. It's a long road before we get set up. Before we can do the advanced genetics and the... Um, other stuff, but Tinker's Construct may be more possible immediately than the other things. So, right off the bat, we got diamonds. First episode. It's pretty b amazing. Pretty amazing. So, there's some more diamonds here. I see it. I'm gonna. The diamonds are just so abundant. It's amazing. Okay, so. Yeah, six diamonds. That's not half bad. I would make armor out of that, but. Not exactly. Uh, don't exactly. Or yeah, I have regulations about that. So let's. I feel kind of uncomfortable around this spawner, to be honest with you. But I'm not sure how I'm going to build my base or what it's going to look like at this point. So I do need to get a chisel, though, because I like the chisel blocks. They're quite sweet. Let's eat the lamb chop. Yeah. Man, lamb chops kind of suck as far as food source. So let's. Oh, let's make this into a uh, crafting station because they're better. So, let's eat this. Got Whoa, lag. Sorry about this lag, by the way. I blame World Gen. Mm -hmm. True story. So, we need to wait out the night a bit here. Hello, guy. Okay, I'm going to run out of a sword before too long here. There we go. Killed him with my... Axe. Let's make that diamond sword that we talk. Oh, look. Zombie head. Let's wear the zombie head. Yeah. Zomboatman. Okay. Just get a diamond sword. Hopefully. I know there's a mod in this that allows it to. That when your sword break, Nope. Or when you're out of blocks, it will take your... The blocks that you were using out of your inventory if you have them available. And it will replace them, basically. It's kind of cool. Um, so let's get some cobble, because we need lots of cobble for, um, for my base. Hello, guy. Did you spawn here? There we go. Uh, I've got to keep this place lit up. I've got wooden armor. That's so cool. It's not very good protection, to be honest with you, but it'll do for my laws for now. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty crappy protection, but it's some protection. And we're going to have to live with it. Oh, how did that become dirt? What? How does that be keep becoming a thing here? Did you guys see that? That was kind of weird. Okay, so, yeah. Get some cobble. Ooh, redstone. Redstone's going to be handy for my advanced genetics power. Ooh, hello, diamonds. How does this stuff keep changing? It's so bizarre. Okay, let's get this... Um... Ooh, more diamonds, hello. Diamonds are nice to me sometimes. Jeez. So weird, all this stuff keeps changing on me. Jeez, look at that. You guys see that? That's a weird bug. Bug. Bug a bug bug. And I need more food at some point here as well. Is this going to turn into dirt? Okay, no. Hopefully that weird thing has passed. Now, the hope is that we can get a hammer reasonably soon here. Um, 
I want like a mad scientist laboratory kind of thing going here. Um, and the cobble, the chiseled cobblestone looks really awesome. And I'd like to use it for the build. Like, there's like a bunch of chiseled cobblestones that you can do with this. And a bunch of chiseled other blocks that you can do with this as well. So I would like to get this place started before we end the episode here. So we still have like 10 minutes, so. Never fret. Attack of the Bee team is still here. And it will be here to stay. Okay, so let's take one of... Uh, we don't need a muscle right now. Muscles are reasonably easy to come by. Uh, uh, let's take that. There we go. And we'll eat the steak. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect amount of hunger now. So let's type in chisel. Chisel. Is that how you spell chisel? No, I want like a legit chisel here. Okay, scroll through the... Whoops. Here it is. Oh, that's not half bad. Okay. Let's click this, and then... Did we... Oh, no, we don't have a stick. Okay. No worries. Now we have a chisel. So we may need to store some stuff down here for the time being. So let's turn this stuff into... No, we don't craft it. We have to right-click on the chisel. And then place the blocks in here. Hmm, so many fabulous options here. Um, let's get some of some of this, and let's get some of this. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we need to head up topside and see what we got as far as daylight goes, because I would like to get somewhat of a place to stay up in here that I can store my things in before the end of the episode. So this is this is, this is a perfect place, man. It's got the mountains in the background. It's great. It's a big flat area. Okay, so let's build a a a, I don't know, tower thing, maybe? No. No. No, I'm not liking this. Let's see. I, I don't know. I don't have any designs in mind here. Let's Let's go like hexagony maybe. Let's do like a big circle. I don't know. Could be cool. And then boop. So this needs to go. Then we need to situate some of this stuff and put it into the regular brick kind of thing there. Let's turn this into the brick two. And then we'll go one two three. One two. One two three. One two. There we go. So that's that's a reasonably sized little base here, and let's just kind of build the rest here with our resources. Okay, we are not gonna have enough for a roof, but that's okay. Yeah, this place is not half bad. I would live here. I don't know if you guys would. So now we need to move all our stuff up here okay and uh, like so so okay that's perfect that's four blocks this is three blocks what okay okay this is a really wonky shaped place here okay whatever as long as it ties together I guess actually we can fix this easy enough um, hmm. one two and then we'll cut this down here. And then what's... There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, boop and da boop. Perfection. No. No, yeah, that's good. That's good, that's good. Okay, so... We need chests. We need chests bad. Um... Hmm. Let's go get this tropical tree over here. Um, oh, I thought this was one of those witchy places. Witchy circle places. So, yeah. It's snowy biome. It's kind of cool. It's kind of amazing. And stuff. I know you don't got Oh, snow. Hello, snow. You're wonderful. Okay. You're so wonderful to me, snow. So, we need to get some chests. Like, special kinds of chests, maybe. No. We will upgrade our chests in the foot ray. So, as of right now, let's do one of those guys and let's do a let's just make it a double chest because we're gonna have lots of junk 
And eventually, maybe we'll get a fancy storage system. So let's put all our junk up in here. And then we can situate this stuff. So I'm going to need a fish. And then we can tame one of these dragons. Um, and I would like to have a bunch of other um, dragons as well. Let me shovel this snow off here. Whoa, like, I would like to have a bunch of different kinds of dragons. Let's see, is this enough for what I need? Ooh, yes. Let's just, and put that one on there. Put that one on there. No, you can't, can't pillar them. Okay. I wonder if these guys work with bone meals. Let's test it. Do you work with bone meal? Ooh, they do. Fancy. That's really cool. Do you bone meal it more? Whoa. You bone meal it more, you get more bushes. Wow. Truly amazing sauce. Okay, so let's put this guy right there. There we go. Get some of those marriage. And get our food situation situated right off the bat. Just really nice. Right on top of a skelly spawner, which makes things pretty nice, actually. Let's kill this guy. There we go. And then let's take these chests, too, because you can never have too much chests in Attack of the B-Team. So, I've already played a ton of Attack of the B-Team um, off-camera, like I said. Tons and tons of Attack of the B-Team. On a different world, of course. Not anything here, which is okay. And a boop. There we go. Let's... No, let's leave this here, I guess. So, I'm going to have to get more wooden armor before... Can you get aluminum armor? Aluminum... No. Okay. It works. Uh-oh. Skellington be tracking. No worries. So, what do we want to work on first? I think a tinker smeltery is probably... It should be our first goal in this place here. Um... Actually, a house should probably be, but, you know, it works. I don't need these on me at all times. Let's see. All right. So, I'm going to do some... Oh, hello, malaberries. You make me happy. Okay. So, let's get these. We need to plant some trees around here, too. Whoa, lag. Hello. Okay, let's get... Uh, Yeah, these guys planted. Grow a bunch of trees over here. Get a bunch of wood. And, yeah, what's over here? Let's do a little exploring about our terrain here. Hmm. Whoa, lag. Hello. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, ooh, willow flower. Or, or is that a willow flower? Wildflower. Okay. I like the puddles. Look at the puddles. They're wonderful. Let's see. What? What do we have? I think I've seen a... Oh, there's a witch hut over here. Like, not like the vanilla witch huts either. Though. It's like one of the... Witchery witch huts, and I may get into witchery too. Um, that'll be fun. Get into witchery. Now, this is also going to be a good series for kind of practice for our uh, our mod pack. Rowan berries. Can you eat rowan berries? Oh, you can. You're not skilled in the art. Okay. Thank you for the rowan berries. So, um, this is going to be good practice for the. Uh, Oak and Stone mod pack as well, because it will be, uh, is that a horse? Let's kill a horse. It'll be, um, I'll be able to, I'll know all the mods by the time the mod pack is done, basically, most of the mods, because we're getting a lot of similar mods in our pack, but it's going to be based on war, and pretty much it's going to be like, whoever can get the mods faster is going to be the winner. Look at me, I can run up blocks. Um, oh, there's a, one of those witchy places over there. I really need to find a bat. So we need to find another cavern. Well, like, hello. So, yeah, we find a cavern, get a bat, and this is going to be great for, there's one of those, um, what's that? Circle place. No, that's our house. Hee <laughs> hee I think. Pretty sure. But yeah, that's, we need to go tackle that place. That's going to be, going to be fun. Let's see. What's... That guy's got a nice hat. Let's do this. Maybe we can get a hang glider going. I know it requires so much leather to make a hang glider. But we'll look. 
in a bit. Get out of here. So this is in 1.6.4. Alright guys, this is the end of the episode. I've been ranting for a long time now. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't leave a dislike because it's mean. And, whoa. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.